Hey there, it's Sydney with Tastefully Frugal, and today I wanna to share with you a really quick and easy way to get your smart vinyl to stick to your transfer tape. Uh, in our Cricut Joy group, one of the biggest uh, problems or questions we have is how in the world do I get the transfer tape to stick to the smart vinyl? It can be a little bit tough because the smart vinyl is a little bit thicker with the, or the backing's thicker so that you can um, cut it matteless. And so it, it is difficult sometimes to get the transfer tape to peel the vinyl off of the backing and then getting the transfer tape off of the vinyl on your project. So today I'm going to share with you a 10 second hack that is guaranteed to make the process of getting your transfer tape on your vinyl and your vinyl on your project super easy. I'm also going to be sharing a really fun trip, tip with Play-Doh uh, when you are working with cups or tumblers that makes laying out your project a whole lot easier. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I've already cut my design and I've already weeded the design. Let me share with you how a tip for getting the transfer tape off the backing, because that can be tricky. I like to peel the backing off of the transfer tape just a little bit, and then I'll line the transfer tape up along the longest side of the design and just slowly peel the backing of the transfer tape away. This prevents any bubbles or creases. Then you'll want to use your scraper tool and scrape the front and the back of your design. I always test after I've done this to see if the vinyl sticks to the transfer tape. If it doesn't, I will press again, and I always press from the center of the design and then press up and down on both the front and the back. Once I've done that, then you'll get your blow dryer. I like to set mine to warm heat and then low, um, depending on what blow uh, temperature settings your blow dryer has. And then I just run it over the front and the back of, so the front where the transfer tape is, and then the back um, of the vinyl backer for about 10 seconds. Once I've run the blow dryer over the front and back, I will use my scraper tool again and scrape up again, starting in the middle and going up and then down on the transfer tape as well as the backer. And then flip over your design and slowly peel your transfer tape off and your vinyl comes off like magic. If you do have any issues with part of it sticking, just bend that backer back a little bit and it will crease it um, or crease the backer so it will stick to the transfer tape. Now, have you ever made a cup or tried to make a cup and it rolls so you can't put your vinyl down? Grab a small piece of Play-Doh, put it down on your table or your surface, and then put your cup on top of the Play-Doh and it makes it so it doesn't move. Next, line up your vinyl on the transfer tape where you want it on the cup and then press the vinyl in with your fingers. You can also use the scraper tool. Make sure to press really good um, and then slowly peel away. I like to start in the top left corner and keep that transfer tape at a 90 degree angle as close to your surface as possible. That way, if any pieces um, do stay on the transfer tape, like this little line down here at the bottom, it's super easy to press that down and keep it into the cup. And there you have your design on your cup. You can use the blow dryer tip on your uh, project as well. So for example, here's one, same process. We are lining the design up on the cup, pressing it in with our fingers, and then starting in the top left corner, we're going to peel away the transfer tape. So as you can see, because we keep it at the 90 degree angle, um, when you're doing this, if you have an issue like we're going to have uh, with the Y right here, it's very easy to push that back on, put your transfer tape back to how it was, and then again, use warm temperature, low heat, just for about seven to 10 seconds all over your design, especially where you were having some lifting. So like we had that on the Y, and then press again with your fingers or um, your scraper tool and slowly peel away at a 90 degree angle. And in seconds, you've gone from working with super difficult vinyl to vinyl that sticks to anything and everything. If you're anything like me, you work with vinyl a lot. And if you use this tip, you'll find that your blow dryer will get more use in your craft room than it will in your bathroom. I've actually considered buying a second blow dryer for the bathroom because I have mine in my craft room all the time. So if you found this tip help helpful, I'd love to have you subscribe to Tastefully Frugal for more Cricut tips, tricks, and tutorials. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And then I've linked everything um, that we used in today's tutorial in the description for the video. I've linked the uh, sampler of the Smart Vinyl as well as these color changing cups. But I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.